All right, what's going on guys? It's GSR here. So basically I wanted to teach you guys how you can actually beat Scarlet's quick transfusion move. And for people who are feeling a little perplexed trying to figure out what move that is, it's a four, two, one string. So with that being said, let's get started. So if she takes it upon herself to shoot out any projectile whatsoever, she will get punished. Um, there are ways of getting around certain shit that she does, but the only thing about this that leaves it really strong is the fact that you need to make good reads. If you make good reads, then you'll punish her every single time. So with that being said, let me show you guys what I mean by this. So she takes it upon herself to do this shit right here. You cannot jump in with your jump in too, but in fact, you can jump in with this. And for Johnny Cage, you can get a little quick shadow kick in there. And that's pretty much it from what I remember, right? So you can immediately go for a shadow kick and completely punish her. Now, if she takes it upon herself to go with her low situation, right it's super slow so you have more than enough time to punish her just like that and for different characters they can get really big damage on her and boom bada bing bada boom and she gets punished if she takes it upon herself to go for the close blood tentacle what's going to happen is is that you can actually backdash and this is universal by the way meaning that this is for every character in the fucking game Every character is different. They have their different ways of punishing Scarlet when it comes to certain shit. Teleport character, Scorpion is the prime example of a anti-zoner. This nigga can literally teleport out of anything that she does. Any projectile she throws out, he can teleport it. Not unless she goes for her uh, middle blood tentacle, but I'll get to that later on in the video, right? So um, she takes it upon herself to do this shit, right? Because she knows for a fact that you're going to jump in, right? So she's trying to protect herself. As soon as you jump in, you get knocked way the fuck over here, right? Now, if you get hit regularly, like you get hit like right there, right? But if you jump, your ass is like, like somebody just threw your ass or something, right? So you have an option of flawless blocking, but there's no real reason to do that because she's only minus 13. What you can do is, with Johnny Cage, at least, you can actually go for a shadow kick, right? Um, if she decides to go for the middle one, the reason why she's going for the middle one is because, guess what? She don't want you to backdash. If you can close to her here, she doesn't want you backdashing, right? Now, Johnny Cage can obviously get out of this, and he can go in for a complete punish, and then set some shit up and do whatever the fuck he needs to do, right? So those are the two ways that Johnny Cage can actually beat her. Now, if you shoot out a projectile, more than likely you're not going to punish her, right? So now we're going to go to a really quick projectile, which shuts down what? You're jumping, and it also shuts down you backing up, obviously, right? So it mainly shuts down your access to jumping, which normally Scarlet players are going to tend to do this. If you end up blocking the whole thing, guess what? She's plus one. So you don't want that. You need to duck under. And get you whatever type of fancy ass combo that you're trying to do whether you're trying to get a hard knockdown or a restand to create a mix-up situation or cash out on damage or set up your brass knuckles um this is pretty much the type of options that johnny cage has against scarlet and if she takes it upon herself to do this shit right here up three her, up to her um what else is there um if she spaces this out correctly you need to keep in mind that your up two is not going to work Right, so I'm gonna try my best to space this out the best way possible. Um, let's see here. I don't know why she keeps throwing that shit out. Okay, so she does this shit to you, right? Let me see if I can get this. Yeah, there you go. And you can clearly see like Johnny Cage is literally not hitting her. But the, the crazy part about this is that if you're standing up and you're blocking this, she create it, it creates a lot more pushback, right? But if you're a little bit closer, she gets hit with every fucking thing. Now keep in mind, Johnny Cage's up three still hits. And like I said, all this shit that I'm showing you guys is pretty much universal, meaning that it's for every character in the game. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm actually gonna go and show you guys Shao Kahn. Um, Shao Kahn is one of, probably one of the best characters at doing this. He can Shao literally Kahn. fuck your life up um if she ends up taking it upon herself to feel a little bit too comfortable with doing certain shit that she's doing right so if she decides to go for her close blood tentacle what's going to happen is is that shao khan can literally backdash really quickly and he can forward to the shit out this bitch right now the reason why i say don't slow this block the close one is because you have access to this so let me show you guys what i mean by this right so shao khan is holding block and she does this shit right watch this As you can clearly see, Shao Kahn just punished her like it was nothing. Um, this is why learning matches with Shao Kahn is very important, right? 
all right guys so pretty much the next thing is that i'm going to show you guys a couple of more options like i said this is pretty much universal for any character in the game they can pretty much punish her it just requires different things meaning that certain characters can hit her with a far-reaching normal certain characters can hit her with a far-reaching special move certain characters can uh possibly throw out a projectile if it's quick enough some characters can just pretty much stop her in general right so basically if she took it upon herself to throw out her quick projectile like i said shao Kahn is one of the best characters in the game that can actually do this now another thing you need to keep in mind um that i forgot to tell you guys is that this is different for other characters right um depending on the teleport and i'm talking about the teleport i'm not talking about anything else right so you can clearly see uh scarlet ends up throwing out this slow ass ball right and like i said Shao Kahn will fuck her life up, right? Um, so that's strike one. Strike two is that if she goes for this, like I said, it's completely universal. So you can fatal blow this as well. Like you can literally go through that shit like it's nothing. Um, but with Shao Kahn, his back two is your best friend. Um, but you have to react really quickly when it comes to her low projectile. Now see that and then you can go in for a direct punish and stuff like that and now i'm actually going to end the video talking about zoners and here's the thing the reason why she's going to go for her middle her mid uh or at least her middle um blood tentacle is because she doesn't want you to backdash once you backdash she will hit you right so scorpion. scorpion is probably the best character to go against scarlet technically because he has pretty good range not only that he can get combos like crazy shao Kahn can do the same shit but the thing about him is that he could teleport on anything that she fucking does scarlet. like anything she does whatsoever right um so if she knows that he can do this what do you think she's going to do she's going to shut him down with the middle projectile which is the blood tentacle right so let me show you guys what i mean by this if scarlet took it upon herself because he here's the thing scorpion doesn't need to jump he doesn't need to do all that fancy ass shit right he don't need to do that because like i said it's different for each character but it is universal right so watch this that's a punish um she throws out the fast one that's a punish um she throws out the really slow one, and like I said, if you see that she threw out the slow one, then you can get whatever type of fancy ass combo that you want on her, or whatever the case may be. Um, now, this is what I'm gonna show you guys, right? You notice how Scorpion's able to just get through all of this shit with just a simple ass teleport? Watch this. He gets hit, right? Um, this is also universal for every other character in the game, meaning that if you try to backdash out of her close blood tentacle and she knows that, if you backdash, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get fucking hit, right? Um, and that's something that you really don't want at all. So, uh, Noob Saibot, he can teleport if she goes with her two slow projectiles, which is her low projectile and her really slow one that she has. He can teleport out of that, but when it comes to like her blood tentacle and her fucking fast projectile, it, I, she's not gonna be able to do that. Like she's not gonna be able to do that whatsoever, right? Well, he's not gonna be able to do that, excuse me. Um, he's not gonna be able to teleport. He's gonna get fucked up. Um, she's gonna hit him. And if she makes good reads, knowing for a fact he keeps trying to teleport and shit, she might end up punishing him with a full strength. So, like I said, uh, every character is different. As you can clearly see, Noob Saibot's teleport is not coming out. And not only that, uh, it starts up at um, 30 frames, right? So, we're going to see if he can dodge her close tentacle, right? No, he cannot, right? So, what does this mean exactly? This means that Scorpion is the only character in the game that can challenge this chick at her own game. Now, keep in mind, her two slow projectiles, actually, let me just show you guys that real quick. Her two slow projectiles, if you don't feel comfortable with trying to punish her the other way, you can literally do that with new Cybot. But, like, why do that when, um, you know, you can literally teleport and get really good damage on her like this. That's the easy 23% for new Cybot for one bar, right? Um, and then when it comes to her other slow one, that's the slowest out of all of them, right? Because she's trying to mix your shit up a little bit, right? Obviously, you could jump in like this, 
and you can get whatever type of fancy ass combo that you want with new Cybot, and then do whatever the fuck you trying to do, right? Um, hold on, I want to see something real quick. Damn, it's not gonna work. I thought I can get my crushing blow with Noob Cybot. Anyway, so that's pretty much the situation revolving around Noob Cybot. Um, if Raiden took it upon himself to teleport, um, more than likely she's gonna punish him, right? So she does this shit right here, right? And as you can clearly see, Raiden tried to go into it and she literally stopped him at his trap. So what does Raiden have to do? Very simple, has to duck and he has to go in and he has to punish immediately. Now, when it comes to her high projectile, like I said, you have to immediately punish her. Like you have to go for like something really quick, like a far reaching move um, that could punish her and shit like that. Um, if she takes it upon herself to go for what else does she have? Her, her close blood tentacle, uh, she will prevent Raiden from literally teleporting. Like. See that and he gets hit he's just like noob side by right so now we're gonna go to the collector because i don't need to show you guys um her low slow projectiles because that should be pretty self-explanatory now that i'm showing you guys this stuff so i'm gonna go to the collector since he has a teleport right and uh characters like night wolf and stuff like that they're more than likely going to be able to reflect and prevent her from doing certain shit. um so yeah uh kotal khan however um, I don't know if he can get his parry out. I, I don't think he can. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, it's 40 frames, so I can already tell that something's not right about this. So, she fucks around, and she does this shit to him, right? See that? See how he's getting hit? Right? Um, if she goes for the fast one, uh, he gets hit, right? But ironically, when uh, she goes for like a slow projectile, uh, you can literally escape it. Just like that. Noob Cybot, Raiden, um, and the Collector are the same way when it comes to their teleport. So keep that noted, right? Um, Jade, obviously, she can get through it if she has that shit activated, so, you know, but Scorpion is the ultimate anti-zoner in the entire game. This nigga will literally prevent you from fucking doing shit. So uh, now I'm going to pick Nightwolf. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. I might pick up Nightwolf again because I do like Nightwolf. He's one of my favorites. Um, but anyway, yeah. So Nightwolf might be able to reflect certain shit that she has going on. Um... So we're getting ready to find out. And then I'm just gonna end the video on this note. Um, so yeah, she fucks around and she does like her quick projectile like this, reflect, cause it comes out super fucking quick. And if she disrespects, Nightwolf can actually have, a, he has enough time to dash up and attack her. Um, and if you predict she's gonna mash it down one or whatever, you can literally back up and whiff punish the shit out of her. Um, if she goes for the slow projectile, then obviously you have other options of pretty much stopping her from doing that shit. If she does this and you do this, you will get hit, right? So the way Nightwolf can beat her is to do that. And if you want to amplify to keep her super close, then you could do that. But she's already close. You just need to back up for a brief moment and boom, reversal punish and she will get beat out every single time. Um, like I said, every character is different. Um, hopefully this helped a lot of you guys out there that are struggling against Scarlet and this 4 to one string, or if this is just helpful in general. All right. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I have conquered the darkness within me. You must do the same.